When I'm talking about the scriptures, there's an image I love to use. And it's the image of a lens. Could be a camera lens, could be a telescope lens, it could be a microscope lens, but just the lens. And that the scripture, like the three readings we heard today, are like lenses that are held up in front of us. And God sort of says, look through them. And as we look through these lenses, God sort of turns them. Sometimes bringing two of the lenses together so that we see things differently. I I thought of that today because certainly the first reading in the gospel were two relatively similar lenses. One from the book of Leviticus, which is the third book of the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible. And it's really a book of laws, of rituals, of how to conduct yourself in a religious way, in a moral way, uh, in a God-like way. Uh, And and the little section that we hear today, the little sort of uh, ritual command is if you have leprosy, if you have some sort of skin ailment where the skin gets broken, you're unclean. And you have to do certain things. You have to take yourself away from the community. You have to let people know that this is what you have. You can't mingle with the, 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 the community, whether it's your family or the community where you live or your faith community. That's the picture that, or the lens that uh, Leviticus holds up for us. The gospel is how that gets lived out sometimes particularly when God is present, when Jesus is present. You you know, the leper in the gospel story didn't do what the law prescribed. He was supposed to keep a distance. He went running up and knelt down right before Jesus. And he said, you know, if you could heal me, I, I know it'll work. And Jesus didn't do what Leviticus prescribed because he reached out and touched a man. Said, yeah, you're healed. And then he says, just go, don't tell anybody, just go to the priest, do what we need to do according to the law, and everything will be okay. But what does the man do? He goes running off and he tells everybody, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you go, if that happened to you, wouldn't you be so excited that you'd go running off and tell everybody? You know, do everything with the glory, with the excitement of God within you. You know, Jesus was an extremely compassionate person. And he didn't heal just to to heal somebody. He healed so that they could become part of the community again. So that they could see their worthness, their goodness, the, the gift who they were. Because the community wasn't allowing them to see that. Jesus wanted them to be a part of life. He wants us to be a part of life. No matter what struggles we go through, no matter what wall we come running up against, what difficulties we have. And as I said last week, as St. Paul says, if we do it for the glory of God, that can make all the difference.